Hi everyone, it is me, Aset, here at The Goddess Inside, and I was recently asked a question that I found very interesting. And the question was, why do we awaken the goddess? So I have posted in the past about prayers of awakening to the goddess and some practices that you have been given in a PDF um, in a previous video, so check that out. Um, but one of the things that we have to remember about this question is the ancient Egyptians belief in Ma'at, the goddess Ma'at, and she is the goddess of balance and order. She keeps chaos at bay. So when you think about the practice of awakening the goddess and the concept of Ma'at, if the goddess is not awakened, then she cannot get about her day. She cannot receive the prayers and the offerings that are brought to her. She cannot listen to the prayers for help or offer healing to those who have come to her to ask. She can't bring joy to anyone. She's asleep. And so I think that it's important when we think about awakening the goddess, that it is part of keeping the daily ritual, keeping the order in the day. The morning comes, you rise and shine, you go about your day, you take your shower, you get dressed, you have your breakfast, and um, you say good morning to the world and to the people around you. And this is what would happen in the ancient Egyptian temples when they would go to awaken the gods and goddesses in their shrine. They would go in, they would sing to them, they would offer them incense and flowers and offerings of food and milk, they would wash the statue and purify it, they would um, anoint them with oil, they would apply makeup to them, so they're getting her started on her day, and um, so this is one of the main reasons I think that we can awaken the goddess. Another thing to think about is that belief that there is a divine nature inside of everything. So the god of or the air was named after, I'm sorry, let me re rephrase all of that. Uh, so this is a little blooper in here for you. Um, the, the air was named Shu, is a god. The Nile River was named Happy, another god. The sky was the goddess Hathor or the goddess Newt. So all of these things in nature that surround them are embodied by divinity. And so when we think of this in terms of ourselves today, how, like how can we apply the ancient Egyptian practices to our lives today? Um, it's embodying the goddess inside of you. And the thing that I always like to remind people is working with the god Shu. He's the element of air. We breathe in the air. It goes into our lungs. Our heart sends blood to our lungs to grab that oxygen and take it all throughout our body to empower us and to give us life. You are a walking goddess. You are filled with the divine element of air, life itself. So when you are walking around and you are an embodied God, you need to be awakened. So look at your morning routine. What does it look like? How do you honor the goddess or the God, if you're a man watching, um, inside of you? How do you honor that divine spark? Do you rush through breakfast? Do you eat a power bar? Well, maybe you could have gotten up a little earlier. Maybe you could have enjoyed your shower with some extra essential oils or scent afterwards. You could prepare a beautiful breakfast, even if it's a smoothie quick on the go. Um, do it mindfully. Do it with a sense of devotion to yourself and your own self-care. And so in this small way and simple way, we can incorporate things that the ancient Egyptians did every day in the temples to our lives today. So I hope that that answered your question, gave you some insight into some things that you can do to enrich your life and your spiritual practice. And um, thank you so much for watching. 
I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself maybe at the beginning so well, but this is Asset at the Goddess Inside. And um, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, check out everything that I offer over at the Goddess Inside, especially if you go to the events, uh, you'll find some of the travel resources to visit some of these ancient places and have the opportunity to awaken the gods within the temples yourself. So uh, as I always like to say, may you enjoy everything about today.